everyone. Um, it is the Muddy Puddle Squad here, and I am back with a brand new story time. Um, now, before we get started into this story, I'm going to tell you that this one here is not verified. This is not a verified story. This is just um, a quote-unquote story. Um, however, I am going to read it as it is a remarkable quote-unquote story, if it is true. But um, anyway, let's go ahead and get started. This story is called God is My Witness. Within the chapel of El Cristo de la Vega in Toledo, Spain, there's a remarkable crucifix showing the image of Christ with one hand unnailed. There's a strange story connected with it. Many centuries ago, a young Spanish captain named Diego Martinez, about to depart to war against the Moors, stood before the crucifix with a girl named Inez de Vargas. They plighted their troths with the only image with only the image of Christ as a witness. Later, Martinez had a change of heart and refused to marry his fiancée. She hauled before him the judges on a charge of breach of promise, which Martinez denied. Was there a witness to the betrothal? The judge questioned her. None but the Christ of La Vega was the girl's reply. The court decided to repair the chapel and to question the image of the Savior. Jesus, son of Mary, intones the court. You have been cited as a witness by Inez de Vargas. Will you swear before your holy steps? Martinez has vowed to marry Inez one day. In reply, the crucified right hand of the image became unnailed. It now extends towards Martinez in a gesture of affirmation. Martinez broke down and admitted that Inez told the truth. The unnailed hand was never restored to its former position. It is still extended in a gesture of affirmation. This miracle has been made the subject of a ballad by the famous, po by the famous Spanish poet Zorila. The ballad is entitled, A Good Judge Deserves an Extraordinary Witness. So I thought that this was a really, really amazing and very, very, like, touching story. Although it's it might only just be a story. It's still very, very, like, it's still an amazing story, and that's why I had to do a video on it. I mean, this is this is a really, really amazing story. It's still a very, very, like, heartwarming story. I mean, this could literally be made into a movie. I mean, I think this is a really, really good story. But anyway, let me, go, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Um, if you guys think this is a true story, if you guys think that it's just a story... And do not forget to like and subscribe. I do believe in miracles. Miracles do happen. And I do think that this is definitely possible. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I hope to see all of you guys in the next one. Later.